Governor Cooper says he's working around the House bill, too, when he recruits businesses to North Carolina, but that he hasn't given up on repealing it. Our Bo Minnick joins us live from the General Assembly with a look at what it would take for the law to come off of the books. Bo. Sharon, the Republican leader of the Senate, Phil Berger, says any repeal is going to take compromise. There are a variety of opinions, though, whether compromise on this issue can happen. North Carolina is a great state. House Bill 2 is not who we are. Governor Cooper spoke today at the North Carolina CEO Forum, delivering a message we've heard before. The question remains, will House Bill 2 be addressed and repealed at the legislative level? I've said all along that I believe and support the idea of a reset. I think Charlotte has done their part. I think we need to do ours. Democratic senators have now reintroduced a bill that would repeal the law. We thought it was important to lead off as early as possible with what we, is a simple repeal bill. But there are many across North Carolina and in the General Assembly who believe the law should remain on the books. We asked Mitchell County Republican Senator Ralph Heiss what he hears from his constituents. I get a lot of encouragement to stand fast and to hold and to continue to protect our citizens and others. They're very frustrated uh, when they see this kind of wishy-washy policy coming back. Uh, they thought it was a settled matter and it keeps coming back again. Senate President Pro Tem Phil Berger says the issue is going to take compromise. I do believe that Senator Berger and Speaker Moore were sincere in their efforts to try to repeal this legislation in December. I think they both underestimated uh, the blowback from their Republican caucuses. And Governor Cooper says he believes the votes are here at the General Assembly to get the law repealed. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina. Residential value is down.